Normally on this channel, I espouse the virtues of saving money. However, there is the not so rare occasion where I find something that I do want to spend my money on that you could probably consider a non-essential. And that's where this comes in. I realise I can't use the green screen now because the gun is also green. This is my brand new BB sniper rifle. <laughs> Which is a total waste of money, but I, uh, I really wanted it, so I bought it. I don't know much about guns, but what I do know is that this is the barrel, this is the butt, and you better watch out, I tell you what. <laughs> Oh god, I am joking. Basically, I've always liked the idea of target shooting, but I don't like the idea of owning something that has lethal potential. It already freaks me out a little bit at how powerful this thing is. This is the MB-02 sniper rifle. It takes 6mm, I think that's right. Yeah, 6mm size BBs. What it came with in the box is the rifle itself. It came with a bipod that you pop on the front. It's got a rail on the top for a scope, which I was hoping it would come with, but it didn't. That's slightly annoying, I'm gonna have to buy a scope at some point. On top here is the safety, that's currently locked when it's jammed backwards, pop it forward and it will let you then pull the trigger. Underneath is where the cartridge goes to put the BBs, pop the button, pull the cartridge out, like so. In order to cock the rifle, it's a bolt action, so you pull up, pull back, push forward, clip back into place. The cartridge isn't in so there's nothing loaded, then it will allow you to Shoot. The only reason I bought this is for back garden target practice. I just want to go out and shoot some cans, basically. Obviously, this still has the potential to be quite a dangerous item. Make sure that you've got a decent space in order to use it, and make sure that if you are using it, the range that you're shooting down is clear. Fortunately, I've got quite a large back garden area that I've just set up a little shooting gallery in. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm actually pretty proud of. It's just a clothes horse put in the corner of the garden. I've uh, pegged the towel onto it which gives sort of like a softer backdrop so that it'll minimize any ricochet. Basically the BB should hit the towel, then hopefully fall down into the little collecting pouch at the bottom. And I've just got old cans of Coke strung up on strings so that you don't have to come and put them back up when you knock them over, if you knock them over, if your aim's that good. Yesterday I had the BB rifle delivered and we tried a few practice shots, but we were finding that the BBs were ricocheting off the wood and off the concrete and uh, I wasn't entirely sure where they were going. It's a pretty safe shooting range. There's nobody in the firing line, but I do have next door neighbors. And the one thing I didn't want to do was have ricochets go over their gardens or, you know, risk potentially injuring anybody. You definitely don't want to do that. So I'm hoping this will be a good little solution. If the BBs that I do shoot hit the towel and don't get damaged, they should fall down into this little collection pouch and I should be able to reuse some of the ammunition. So just gonna do a couple of test shots. I've got my shooting gallery set up on the far side of the garden. I've got my <laughs> my good Sony A6000 camera precariously placed right next to it. I shouldn't have any problems with hitting it. It's far enough away that if I am hitting it, I really need to reconsider owning a rifle in the first place. Police helicopters, hope they don't come this way. I'm just gonna fire off a few test shots. Safety's off. Gun is cocked. What? Hit that one then. Into the middle one. Two I've hit. The towel as a backdrop is working really well because it's soft. There's no ricochet coming back from the, the pellets. So one more. Just hit the can on the far left. Nice. I'm quite a good marksman by the look of it. <laughs> Safety on. Lovely. The rifle also came with this little speed loader device. Basically what you do is Pop the cap open, pour the BBs in the top, pop this little exit onto this little entrance and... <laughs> Hopefully don't do that. Basically you just pop down on the plunger and the BBs go into the cartridge. This little thing goes towards the front of the rifle, pop it in the slot and clip. We did use it a couple of times yesterday and I am impressed with the power of it. I haven't been able to do a range test because I don't live anywhere that allows me to go out and fire as far as I can 
Um, nor would I really want to. You want to know what you're you're shooting at. You want to know what's you want to know what's in front of you, no matter what the distance is, because you know minimizing accidents is the uh, is the key. I've dropped a load of BBs over the floor now. <laughs> That's another problem is I'm going to be hoovering these up relentlessly. On the front of the barrel on the left hand side you've got this little thing here which is the bullet regulator and basically you either slide this backwards or forwards and it affects the trajectory of the BB so if it's too low you slide it backwards and it should bring the BB up straight. If it's too high slide the slider forward and it should bring the BB back to centre. I haven't really messed around with that much at the minute at all actually because I haven't really played around with the rifle but I'm going to go outside now and just take a couple of test shots so y'all can see. Thanks for watching, I have been Ollie Rosser. I know that this channel is becoming somewhat of an eclectic mix of videos. I do have a lot more content coming up about money box, lifetime ISA, saving and investing, which is what the majority of people like to see. But I also wanna get into reviews and videos like this. <laughs> I like sharing what I do. Take care, stay safe, wash your hands. This COVID thing's still quite real. If you own any kind of weaponry, please be careful. <laughs>